Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run what we call a stock level report so that you can be able to see your different stock levels of your items. Okay, so we go to the menu where it shows you on the menu there, it says inventory. And we click on a menu below that where it says stock level report. Okay, so we'll see a new screen here, it will appear, it will say stock level report. It has a few buttons on it which I'll explain to you, that's for printing the, the report that will display. And this is for basically to preview a certain selection filters. But I'm going to explain to you, first of all, we've got something where it shows you report type. So you can select the type of report that you want to view. So we have total owned stock, then we have a report for total stock on hand that you have physically and we also have total stock out on APRO that's for items if you're giving out to maybe customers on APRO more for wholesalers um, then we have total supplier APRO stock so if you want to see items that you have um, just from your suppliers that you have on consignment from them and then we have a stock listing report so that will show you all your codes that you have on the system whether they are not in stock or are in stock so for this purpose, I'm just going to show you, we're going to just focus on own stock, your stock that you have on. So if I click on here where it says total own stock, I click on the button to preview. It's going to bring up a selection where you can select the different filters that you want to, for the different um, type of information that you want to appear on the report. So it'll show you the first filter shows you location. Um, you can leave that out, ignore it by default, it will show you all your locations. The location is more for when you have multiple stores and you want to look at stock in one specific store. So for this uh, um, purpose, for this demo, I'm just going to leave it as all the, all the locations. Then you've got a filter to show you here if you want to look at a Pacific supplier stock. So if you want to look at stock from a Pacific supplier, you can select, if I choose in there, you can select your Pacific supplier okay um, then you've also got for your category so and your classes so for category if you want to look at stock only in a specific category so let's just say in this um, presentation here we're going to look at all the anniversary rings so if I select that you've got a classification which is like your subcategory in that uh, anniversary you can select it even filtered further down so let's just say we want to look at all the anniversary rings. If I click on the green tick now, I'll give it a few seconds, it's going to display. I'll just make this a little bigger so we can see it on the screen. It shows here total owned stock category for the anniversary ring. So these are all the items that you have in stock that you own. Um, and it shows you the stock codes for each one of them. And there it also shows you the description of each one of those items and it tells you how many you have in stock on each one of those items. It will also show you um, the app rows if you have any from your supplier as well as if you're giving any out to any customers on app row. So show the cost price per each one of those items and it will show the price, the selling price of the item and the total cost value. So the cost value you can see there is it's 3000 for each item and there are two, so that calculates it to 6,000. Price is 6,000 times by two, gets to 12. And so it tallies up to the bottom. It will show you the total amount of units that you have in stock under that uh, category for anniversary rings. It will show you the total cost value and the total price value. Just remember this price value is all excluding your VAT. Okay. Um, so if we want to look at all the stock, we don't just want to look at a category. Uh, we can close this, click on that cross. Okay, we'll go back to the um, stock level report. I'll click on the preview button. I won't select any filters. All I'll do is I'll click on the green tick. Make it a little bigger. And that will show you all of your stock codes that you have in stock. You see there's a button at the top you can click to next page. And if you want to go to the last page, it'll show you the last page, how many total units that you have in stock, the total cost value of all of your stock, and the total price value. So this is a very valuable report if you need to give to your, let's say for insurance purposes, you need to um, supply them with 
um, what is the total value of your stock at a specific time. You run the report, and there you can see that's the total cost value of all of your stock. So with all these reports, you can be able to click on that button, you can print it, and you can click on the button here and you can export, you can save it as a PDF file if you like, and as well as also you can click on the button there, you can email it to somebody if you wish as well. Okay, you'll notice also, if you move your mouse over one of the codes here, there's a little hand signal. Here we go, you see the cursor change to hand, a hand symbol. So if you click on it, it will take you directly to your stock master. So you can see the item. And if you click on that one, it'll get you another report, which is the stock report, which I'll explain in another video. Thank you.